Hey there, Camera Obscura here, continuing Super Mario RPG. We're in the factory. I mean, weapon world. <laughs> it sounds more like an amusement park. Like, it doesn't sound like a scary place. It's a redneck's wet dream. <laughs> oh my god. Hey! It's like a shadow, but not. What is this thing called? If I could see the names again, it's the Doppel. Must be a play on like Doppler effect or something, because he does like the echo finder move and stuff. I don't know, or doppelganger. Because he's like the palette swap of the shadow. I don't know, man. I just play the game. So we gotta fight one of these little Yuridovich dudes. And they're all called machine made. Like, dude, why can't I time the shell? All these boss clones are just machine made. We've established that last time. But here's a, I mean, a Spiritovich. He's not Yaridovich anymore. They had to go and rechange all the damn names, and I still can't kick the shell at the right time. I'm so mad. What is this? Multiplier. You know what? You made me mad, so boom! Yeah! Nuke him from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Dude! Like, seriously! What is wrong with me now? I'm not getting the timing on that either. There we go, finally. Jeez, I thought I knew about timed hits and I was gonna punch your lights out. What is this? There we go. It's like, I know I can do, wait, what? I thought that was gonna be the end of the battle. Get out of here. I defeated all your little multiplication dudes. You should have gone down with them. And that blows up that box. So now we can jump down here. We'll get to fight more Spirit of Itches later if we want. But you have to fight him at least once. Oh shit! That's kinda cool. Interesting perspective there. But it's like you just go from one boss fight to another at the end of the game here. It's like a boss rush, but at least the bosses are new. So this is... is it Cloaker and Domino? I think, and I'm gonna go after Domino, because I think the way this works is one of them is really strong against physical attacks, and the other one's really strong against special attacks. And I'm going to assume that the one with the shield is the one that's strong against physical attacks. And I mean, here, yeah, we're doing like 300 damage. Just bitch slapped him with a frying pan, man. Even Peach doing over 200 damage. So now, this thing, I think it used to be called Earthlink, which I doubt that's what they're going to call it now, because that was like some internet company or something. No, it's Bad Adder. Dude! And I mean, I just go after this thing. Don't even bother with Cloaker. Because once you take out the Bad Adder... Ah, shit. You know what? We'll do a group hug. It'll give Bowser health. It'll take the poison away from Mario. But anyways, like I was going to say, once you take Bad Adder out... Cloaker will just go down with it. Don't be... Oh, even Bowser can get poisoned. Shit. I thought he was immune to that stuff, too. From the Quartz Charm. But I guess that does only instant death. I don't know. I mean, that Safety Ring is definitely one of the best items in the game. It's just it doesn't give the same boosts as some of this other stuff. Like, the attack and defense boost that you get from the Quartz Charm and the Attack Scarf are pretty awesome. And Peach with the Jinx Belt is at least able to dish out some damage here. But I gotta say, this Bad Adder is a lot bulkier than I remember. Don't do it, you jerk! No, don't do a group hug, do a therapy. Mara's the only one in any danger here. But uh, danger is not really what he's in. Oh, there he goes. Ah! <laughs> and he just fades away. Yeah, so Mario and Mal are definitely going to be leveling up here by the end of the game. And to be honest, I bet I bet the rest of them will as well. We still have quite a few battles to go here. So now we're in the factory proper. What is what is this? The drill pits. <laughs> They're like they're like belly dancing librarians. What? <laughs> they look ridiculous. They don't look intimidating at all. At least in the original, they looked kind of angry-ish. These ones just look stupid. 
I love it. Oh, man. So now we just go through this gauntlet of tough enemies. They're really not that bad. But every character is going to come out and talk about how awesome Mario is. But then again, not really. Because not everyone thinks Mario is awesome. Hey! Hey! Fully blocked two of those in a row. That's pretty nice. And now, like, I mean, hitting a frying pan onto a hammer, I feel like that wouldn't be the most effective. You know? Like, I don't know which of those metals is harder, but... Probably the steel of a hammer versus the iron or, or aluminum of the frying pan. I don't know, man. It doesn't matter. Stop trying to overthink a game. I mean, the, don't even worry about the fact that the hammer has legs. You know, talk about... <laughs> just... Just stop. So this is the clerk. And we're just gonna fight a bunch of things that look just like him. And they get progressively stronger. And he <laughs> stamps his little feet. Oh, man. Twirling his axe. Careful with that axe, Eugene. No, you already made that reference. Can't do it again. Can't do it again. <laughs> I love the frying pan attack animation. It's just awesome. Yeah, look at that. Mario and Mal leveling up. I mean, Peach still he's 138 experience points. I don't know if we're going to quite get there. But there we go. Level 21. And like I said, this is usually around where I am at the end of the game. I kind of breezed through the last few areas. Otherwise, I could probably easily be like level 23 or 24 by now. That just it makes an easy game even easier. Oh yeah, let's just let's just hit the button. We have no idea what it does, but the only way to find out is to push it. And Mario, Mario's doing nothing to help. Like he sees what's going to happen. And instead of pushing him out of the way or whatever, he just tries to get Mal's attention. You know, he's got to wait. He's got to wait to be the hero. Yeah, I bet. I bet Mario lets Peach get kidnapped for that reason, so he can look even better. You know, because if he just prevented the kidnapping, no one would really know that he prevented it, because it just wouldn't happen. You know, whereas if he can rescue Peach, he just looks like a total hero. He's not a hero, man. I'm sorry, Mario, I blew your cover. You've been- you've been exposed, and Peach just exposed herself to to- wait, no. That's not what I meant to say. She- <laughs> Cam! She- <laughs> Wow, okay, so Toad has discovered that Peach snuck out of the castle. That's what I meant to say. That's what I meant to say. Um, uh, I really don't need any of this. It's kind of bullshit. You can only carry six pick-me-ups. But then again, like, you don't really need them. Because Peach can just come back. Alright, anyways. Oh, man. This episode's gone just downhill. Right from the get-go. Talking about redneck wet dreams. And, and I have to, like, remind myself and everyone of it. You know, I was hoping by now you would have forgotten. But nope, I had to go and bring it up again. Good lord. So, and as you'll see, like, this is kind of neat, because the further we get into the factory, the less assembled the drill bits are. Like, this is the room in which they get painted. So that's kind of cool. Oh, I love this bit. The manager just talked to himself. He's like, yeah, ha, 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 Just having a moment to himself, and Bowser comes out. He's yelling at him, like, this is my kingdom to destroy. And they totally ignore him, and they're like, oh, no, no, it's Mario. <laughs> Leave Mario out of this. I'm the one you need to worry about Mario. You're <laughs> he's so mad. He's so mad that they're ignoring him. I love it. So we'll just go after the manager. Although when it's when it's Peach's turn, I suppose we'll do the psych bomb. Dang. Some of that stuff hit pretty hard. The hammer's attacks are really, really easy to dodge though. Here we go, the psych bomb. It looks so cool. And I mean, that's not bad. Just remember, she's got the lazy shell armor. So for her to still be doing 68 damage. Aw, oh, what? You can't just bring them all back. What the hell? Hit you with a frying pan. I love it. 
346. That's crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy. Shit. I'm just so glad I got the Drill Claw in Bowser's Castle. Like, this would have really sucked if I hadn't gotten that thing. You know, I, I missed out on the Sonic symbols. And like, yes, you can go back into Bowser's Castle and get that stuff. But, like, do you really want to do that? Go back through the doors and stuff? Like, I don't. Oh, yeah, Bowser's Haiku. He might be... He might be kind of a dumbass sometimes, but... He's got a poetic soul. In the end. Oh! Like, Mario pats him on the shell. That's so... Adorable. Like, it's like, almost like they've become friends on this adventure. And Peach, just so polite. Ahem, are you the one in charge here? Do you know what your weapons have been doing to our world? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it, Cam. So, like, I just, I picture her just being, like, so dainty, though. Like, she just doesn't have it in her. Yeah, you can't scare me. I got Mario by my side. <laughs> oh, Peach. But I can't talk shit about her, because if it wasn't for her on that lazy shell, we'd be dead in the water for most of this stuff. Woo! Dang, oh man, these ones inflict fear. Oh, even when you block it, they inflict fear. That's bogus. But you know what? I actually defended most of those. So that's pretty cool. I'm like in the zone here, man, I'm telling you. Oh man, even getting the bonus healing on the group hug. Yeah, get out of here, Poundettes, you pieces of crap. Look at this! I'm just blocking everything, man. You can't touch me. Do 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 do. No. No, just no. Look at that! There should be separate chains for offense and defense, because it seems like the offensive chain is the one that I screw up the most. Hell yeah, look at this, man. I'm, are you seeing this? I'm just gonna keep getting cocky about it because it's never gonna stop. I'm the best ever at this game. Like, this is what it feels like to be good at a video game. I can't believe it. Get the damn Poundettes out of here. Dude! Aw, oh, come on, man. You can't bring them back at the very next turn. I was gonna look so awesome. You know what? We're gonna Psych Bomb them just to get rid of them so I don't have to deal with not blocking an attack. Yeah, get out of here, Poundettes. Wait a second, Peach probably is gonna level up. Because there's still another fight to go. And she's got only 33. So now Bowser's at level 21. He has 100 defense. Still pouting about it, though. Like, what the hell? That was scary. Ha ha ha! She's so angry. Oh, man! Like, the angry Peach sprite in the original is the best. Cause like, she's so mad, she's got the steam coming out of her ears, it's so cool. So much character in it. And we got the factory chief and whatever the hell that thing is, it's like some weird tank train thing. With lava pool at the top of it for some reason. It's the gun yoke, whatever the hell that means. Like of all the weapons they changed the name of, they let gun yoke stay gun yoke. Like, what the hell? What's a gun yoke? It's just weird, man. Anyways, what am I doing? I have triple move power here. And I should have saved it for Peach's turn since she does the least amount of damage. But I just want to get it out of the way. Like, let's go, man. This attack is just too ridiculous. <laughs> Look at that. Holy crap. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Woo! It looks so good. I love the breaker beam. And that really didn't even hurt that much. It really didn't. So we'll group hug. The best part about this is after every single one of these fights, all of our FP has come back. And this one's not going to be any different. Oh, shit. Bowser's a mushroom. 21. No, that's not bad. No, we'll just skip that turn. And you can therapy. I'm not taking Bowser out of the party. Like, this is the end game party, always. Alright, well, Gunyote goes down. Goodbye to you. 
And I feel like the factory chief's gonna be not too far behind. There we go! What did I say? Unfortunately, I don't have full gauge power for Smithy, but Peach did level up, so it's not all bad. There we go. All right. So the production line has not halted. That's because the weapons are still being made. They're coming out of that tube. There they go. Yep, that's where Smithy makes the weapons. And it must be where the last star piece is. There's no turning back now. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. Because this is the end of this episode. So we'll have to wait until next time. And I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.